Hello all. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how how we can use uh, so web services and uh, how we can uh, use Postman to do the same uh, to to uh, update or to create a, to test the web service uh, of SOAP UI. I mean uh, SOAP uh, APIs. So we uh, for any uh, SOAP services uh, uh, for testing, so we can use SOAP UI or Postman, right? So we can use SOAP or uh, REST APIs in Postman or uh, or in SOAP UI as well. So uh, if we want to test SOAP SOAP uh, SOAP service, so we will create a uh, create a new request here. And then we'll give and then we will give the uh, visitor here uh, like this so after after clicking ok so we will get the uh, payload like this so and here we will select uh, which action we need to perform whether it's create organization or update or delete or any other uh, child object action so all that we will select here and then we will get the sample payload and then uh, we will modify this payload and then we will get the response uh, uh, here in this area and if we click raw data, so we will get all the uh, full payload, right? So this is how we will use uh, SOAP UI. But same thing uh, we can do using uh, uh, REST um, in the Postman client. So here also we can use uh, SOAP UI. So for that, um, just create a, a, a new request. So this can be uh, done by using uh, creating a collection and under that we can create some something like folders and in that folders we can uh, create the request actual request but uh, directly also we can just create a, a, a new request here but in order to uh, make something like uh, uh, use uh, uh, reusable or uh, if you want to define some collections Right. So in that cases, uh, uh, if you want to run some collections, so in that case, uh, this kind of collection and folders will be useful. And uh, uh, so, uh, so first we will define collection here cre using create new collection uh, option. So and then we'll give the uh, uh, collection name in place of uh, new collection. You can give the new collection uh, name. And then uh, after giving collection, uh, it will automatically save. So uh, we can give uh, something like uh, authentication. So if we give authentication here, so the same will be applied for every each and every request inside this collection. So if you want to override uh, for uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, request inside this collection so we can give specifically for that uh, request but if it the default one will be the collection um, uh, authentication so whatever we give the authentication in collection that will be default if we if you want we can override and one more useful uh, feature is uh, we can define variables here so suppose uh, i can give a username Okay, and I can give initial value and current value. So here I, I'll give uh, uh, something like Sunil dot test as a user, and this will be the current value. Okay, so this this variable I can use across this collection. Uh, so um, so now if inside this collection, if you want to add a request or a, a folder, so we can do that. So if we if you want to create a folder, we can add folder something like that. But we can also directly create a request. And in this request, we can uh, we can give a rest. API or SOAP API. If so, uh, in in one in earlier video, I showed uh, how to 
create a, a REST endpoints, uh, how to use the REST endpoints and how to run the collections using REST APIs. So, so this one, um, uh, we will be using um, the uh, SOAP UIs, SOAP APIs. So uh, for SOAP, the method is always post. But in the case of uh, REST, we can we can have multiple uh, other methods supported. But in case of post, it will support only post. Um, in case in case of uh, SOAP SOAP APIs, it will support only post method. So the visual URL we will give here. Uh, for example, um, like this. So I, I defined uh, one. Um, uh, one uh, sample API uh, sample soap call here. I'll just show you. Uh, so this is uh, my uh, request. So here you can see a pod URL, username, right? Username, password. Everything is uh, uh, taken from the uh, variables. So that are like this variables. So and under collection, so I have defined variables and then I gave the default values. So this came uh, directly. Uh, so we can just use that variables uh, and we can um, test. We don't need to give every time um, uh, these values. And uh, this will be exactly the visual we give. And uh, after, the, after that, uh, you can uh, if you want to update anything or if you want to get anything so uh, just use that service okay in the body in the body we can specify whether it's a update uh, update organization or create organization or get organization whatever the request uh, the body we will provide here uh, and uh, the type is raw uh, you can select as raw and then xml because this input is XML. So we are giving in XML for format. And then authorization, it will take, uh, it will take from that uh, uh, collection and params. So by default, if you use visital, it will take key as a uh, um, key value as a uh, visital. And in headers content type, we need to pass as text or XML, text slash XML so that it will pass. And in the body, yeah, as uh, it told, so we will give the exact payload. So after giving all here, so this is update organization. So I'll just click send so that I'll get the response in the below. Yeah, so we got the response here. So you, we can see uh, all the fields and field values are uh, available here with the, with child uh, with childs also. Okay, so this is how uh, we will be using SOAP services and uh, collection variables. Uh, so these collection variables are like um, also useful and it it is applicable for uh, any Postman collection. So whether it whether it, you will be using REST APIs or SOAP APIs. Uh, it is uh, it is applicable. So yeah. So that is all about uh, uh, using Postman uh, for SOAP UIs. So also a uh, few more points uh, that are. Uh, uh, so we like how we can run the collection so we can also include the collections uh, we can run this uh, collections with uh, soap apis so just we we can go to uh, this collection and we can use run collection and we can give the file and uh, for giving the uh, values uh, so we, we can just give uh, uh, open double open brackets and double close brackets. So in between, we will give the header uh, CSV file header name, header column name, uh, so that 
it will pass dynamically the, that value for each iteration. Um, yeah, so that is how we will uh, we will uh, use this postman for bulk updates.